Hello, Len and Emily. I have been really anxious to thank you and to share uh, the amazing results of your generosity to Hope Ukraine. Like last year, I have made a video that uh, shows the loan recipients there uh, thanking you as well as the staff on the ground in Ukraine. I'm gonna try to be crisp with the data. You've given $150,000 over the last two years. And the best way I can say it is that has served as a real springboard for a lot of other giving from our section mates at Harvard, but also a broader group to me and to Hope International. We just cannot thank you enough for sort of setting the bar and getting this going. We have a Ukraine loan portfolio now of over a million dollars. And your assistance, Len, has helped underwrite 13 greenhouses. And each of those loans are for $5,000 or more. On top of that, your generosity has provided dozens of what I'd call harvest loans. These are for the seed, for, for machinery. Uh, and, and these loan recipients employ over 300 people. So that's 300 families that have received provision uh, from your kindness. And these people would never be able to get a traditional commercial bank loan. Um, so, and on top of that, 98% of these loans are paid back in full on time. And then the monies just keep going back out. So the best way to put it, Len, is the money that you've given is growing and growing in size each year uh, to loan recipients. I also want to let you know that Ukraine is 119% operationally self-sufficient. What that means is uh, when these loans go out, the interest that they get on these loans completely pays for all of their operations, all their loan officers, all their facilities, and 19% is in surplus. So each year, the loan amount going out is greater. I think you probably remember from last year that your loan underwrote a incubator where people from all over Ukraine are being trained uh, on greenhouse farming. And we've expanded that this year. And I'd personally like to name that the Blavatnik Loan Incubator, but uh, Lincoln tells me I can't do that. So I just cannot tell you how grateful the people of Ukraine are for that training facility. Finally, I just wanna tell you right before I went this year, I let you know that I was gonna be very purposeful about seeking out Jewish loan applicants. And in the video footage that I'm getting ready to show you, I met with several there, and I'm just happy to update you that some of the best loan recipients that we have are in fact Jewish. And I wanna remind you, uh, the, you know, Len, I'm Jewish. So I'm excited about that aspect of this as well. I just cannot tell you what an honor it is to assist you in the place of your birth in helping these people become self-sufficient. Thank you. Dear Len, Darahoy Leonid, we are here in Berdichev in a holy place for every Jew and you can see the mausoleum to uh, one of the founders of Kassidism, Tzadik Itzhak. We are here intentionally that we believe that this is a very good place to say thank you for your generosity, for your support for small and medium enterprises in Ukraine. Thank you very much. Shalom. Thank you, Lenny. Hey, Len, your second incredibly generous gift had me having to get back to Western Ukraine, and I'm excited to be here and to hear of the amazing things that have been done with your gift from last year and the excitement about around the doubling of your gift this year. Um, best way to say it is we're going to go and show you some more greenhouses today. I've got Pasha here, and he is the regional director for Hope Ukraine in Transcarpathia in Western Ukraine. You probably recognize him from last year. And maybe you recognize Sasha. We got Pasha and Sasha. It's pretty fun how their names are so similar. Sasha is running this incubator farm here uh, that you generously gave the monies for that sort of underwrote this. And if you could just hear the impact that you've had 
in this community around here through the several uh, dozen people that have come through here and received training to go out and open up more greenhouses. We should in fact call this the Blavatnik greenhouse. I know you didn't want to have that happen, but people know there's a very generous man someplace out there that has underwritten all this. I'm going to let Pasha thank you as well. And of course, Emily, God bless you. Здравствуйте, Лен. Мне очень приятно, что я имею возможность снова обращаться к вам. В прошлом году вы дали нам большую помощь для развития инкубаторов, для развития теплиц. В этом году вы удваиваете эту сумму, это очень хорошо, это дает большие надежды для еще большего развития. Спасибо вам большое за это. Пусть ваш бизнес процветает, и вы тоже будете успешными. Я очень вам за это благодарен. Если можно, пожалуйста, Эмили, переведите на английский то, что мы вам очень благодарны за ваше участие, за ваше открытое сердце в развитии тепличного бизнеса в Украине. Спасибо. And now I'm gonna let Sasha share a little bit about how this has changed this whole area around here as well. Добрый день, мистер Лен. Хочу сказать вам большое спасибо за такую возможность, которую вы подарили, потому что мы сейчас находимся в теплице, которая в прошлом году была поставлена благодаря вашему даянию. И мы имеем возможность здесь работать, здесь учиться, зарабатывать и помогать другим желающим приобрести такой же бизнес для себя, учиться открывать для себя новые получать огромный опыт работы. И если в прошлом году в это время мы здесь только высаживали овощи, то сегодня мы уже целый месяц на рынок ездим с огурцом. Большое вам спасибо за это, за возможность работать и развиваться. Спасибо. Hey, Len, the best way to put this is there are 60 to 70 greenhouses now running in Transcarpatha. Your funding is not just putting up these new greenhouses, it's paying for more harvests and underwriting the loans so that these people can continue to grow crops. They can't have all the money all the time. And I know you understand micro loans. Len and Emily, you guys are heroes to this region of Ukraine. I cannot begin to thank you enough and uh, well, We'll, we'll maybe talk some more as the day progresses. God bless you. Len and Emily, I'm so thankful for your support and specifically for your generous giving to Ukraine. Our country is in transition now. We are trying to change lives of our people while they're facing issues like, you know, war in the East, like economic instability. But we also believe that God is using those uh, tribulations and we are seeing a lot of response from different people. And yeah, we are really, really grateful for your support and we'll be praying for you. And thank you again on behalf of Ukrainian team. Hi, Len and Emily. My name is Peter Greer, and on behalf of all of us at Hope International, we want to thank you for your incredible partnership with us. Thank you for caring about the nation of Ukraine. Thank you for investing in entrepreneurs, and we are so grateful to see the impact that you are having in that very special nation. We are so very thankful for you. Lenya, добрый день. Мы в очередной раз хотели поблагодарить тебя за твою поддержку, за то, что ты в очередной раз помог программе в Украине и ты не представляешь насколько серьезно это влияет на развитие бизнеса здесь многим людям ты действительно помог и мы хотим лишний раз поблагодарить и сказать тебе огромное спасибо сейчас мы находимся в очень интересном месте ты можешь видеть на заднем плане мавзолей Цветова который организовал движение Хасида в Украине в свое время то есть сюда каждый год приезжают очень много евреев как с Израиля так и со всех уголков мира, потому что это место действительно является культовым и святым для них. И мы здесь сейчас находимся, и это действительно очень знаково именно в этом месте сказать тебе огромное спасибо. Большое спасибо, Лени. Шалом. Шалом. I think I told you before I came this time that we are 
being much more purposeful, much more opportunistic with the Jewish population here in Ukraine. I think I told you this, but I don't know for sure. And I want you and Emily both to know that since I was in business school, actually in the last five years, after the passing of my grandfather on my mother's side, I would learn that he was fully Jewish. Uh, this is sort of ironic because all my life I've had people joke with me or hint that they think my aggressiveness and my entrepreneurial nature, they, they've joked with me that they think I have Jewish blood in, with, in me. Turns out I do. Uh, I'm here now with Sasha, who I'm just excited about the fact that since I've come here, uh, this visit in particular, I'm meeting with a number of Jewish people. And I think due to your incredible generosity, Len, Hope International is boosting up their efforts with the Jewish population. And I've learned here from Pasha that one of their best students in the incubator this year was in fact Jewish. And I've had that explained to him through an interpreter. I'm going to let you tell him a little bit about it. Len, к нам сюда приезжают студенты разные, разной национальности, разного образования, разного уровня жизни приезжая, чтобы посмотреть, как работает теплица, как с ней работать, чем заниматься, как заниматься. И самое главное, они имеют желание в своей жизни что-то изменить, в своей жизни начать новое дело, прибыльное дело, перспективное дело. И за это время на Новый год буквально вот у нас был интересный студент Виктор Жевнирович. Он приехал к нам из Луганской области и прожив с нами месяц, поработав в теплицах, он загорелся огромным желанием начать это дело у себя на родине в Луганске. На сегодняшний день поехал на заработки в Польшу, чтобы заработать денег на это все дело, потому что не хочет одалживать. Но не зря он же в Нерович, и я думаю, у него все удастся. И многие люди, которые поработав в теплицах, уезжают отсюда с огромным желанием работать и развивать это дело у себя дома. One last thing, Len. I just want to tell you, we've met with the chief rabbi here. We're meeting with Jewish business people. There's not a lot of them at the top here, but they are so excited about your generous gift and the targeting of Jewish people. Um, we're going to when we come back here next year, we're going to be speaking about a lot more of them because they're being very proactive in bringing them into this greenhouse loan program as well as other micro, micro loan programs, both here in, in Transcarpathia, but also in Kiev and in some other regions of Ukraine. Thank you. Len, I just want you to see a couple of the students that are going through this incubator training. I want you to see them firsthand because it's incredible. They're coming from 700 kilometers away. They're visiting uh, three times per year. Um, they have invested in land, but I think there's a more interesting story about them that I'm hoping that uh, Pasha, I mean, uh, Sasha, who runs the incubator here, uh, can tell you about. Len, еще раз спасибо большое за возможность обучаться самому и обучать других, и развиваться. Сегодня у нас есть студенты, которые приехали издалека, и 500-700 километров отсюда, чтобы получить этот полезный опыт для развития своего дела. Начиная с вашей помощью этот инкубатор, учебный центр для желающих развиваться в тепличном бизнесе, с каждым днем у нас все больше и больше есть видение о том, как делать. Сейчас мы хотим увеличить количество культур, с которыми будем работать, чтобы был ассортимент для желающих, кто хочет огурцом, кто хочет томатом, кто хочет перцем заниматься, чтобы можно было здесь на практике получить этот опыт. С этой целью мы уже откладываем деньги, чтобы поставить еще дополнительно теплицы. Есть грандиозные планы приобрести еще земли здесь, поставить небольшие домики для проживания студентов, для комфортного обучения. Поэтому мы молимся и планируем, идем и развиваемся. Вам большое спасибо, что вы с нами. 
Hello again from Transcarpathia. I'm right now with a family here that started getting HOPE loans seven years ago. And they have continued to get loans each year for various harvest expansions and also building expansions. Um, the loan officer is Vladimir, who is here in the back. He's been with HOPE International for 11 years. He's been with them each step of the way. Uh, this, this is the guy that runs the show here, Misha, uh, his son and his wife. And what I want to just do is let him briefly state what he sees in Hope International that causes him to keep using them every year. Bank says bank is надежный, без без комиссии и дуже ми можемо взяти гроші попользуватися ними та Дуже ми йому благодарні, що можемо взяти гроші попользуватися ними та й виручає. Maybe you can interpret that. Uh, we are really grateful for the Hope International um, fund Foundation because uh, we benefited a lot from their uh, loans and um, they are trustworthy people. There are no hidden strings, um, no insurance required or other interests and um, we feel safe working with them and um, we are grateful that we came to know them because we could grow our business. Thank you. Len and Emily, if you've made it this far into the video, I just want to tell you one more time what an incredible difference that you've made in several hundred families in Ukraine. The hugs and the tears that I saw there that I wish I could bring to you. And I look forward to maybe a day when I can go to Ukraine with you guys and show you the incredible impact that you've made. God bless you and your family.